Throughout this video, kids reenact the scenes narrated. Black text appearing on a beige background reads, Harper's Ferry, 1860. Next, a series of historical sketches. The year 1860 was a time of change for America. Tensions between the North and South were growing, and the upcoming election promised to change the course of history. The nation was still reeling from John Brown's raid the year before, but for the citizens of Harper's Ferry, life went on. Still, for them, change was unavoidable. A newspaper spirals in, which reads, 22nd of February, 1860. February 16, 1860 sentencing. Kids reenact the scene. Aaron D. Stevens. Stevens rises. You have been indicted and tried by the jury of the country. You have been found guilty of advising and conspiring slaves to rebel and make insurrection. Of conspiring with John Brown and others to make insurrection. You, Albert Hazlitt. Hazlitt rises. You have been found of murder in the first degree and deliberately killing and murdering George Turner and others. Stevens and Hazlitt are escorted away. A newspaper spirals in, which reads The 1st of March, 1860, Washington's birthday. At Harper's Ferry, the day was celebrated with unusual enthusiasm. Kids reenact a ball. The ball at the Wager House was well attended. They dance formally. The newspaper spirals in, which reads March 8, 1860. The cost of the Harper's Ferry Affair. It has been reported that the John Brown Affair cost the state of Virginia $185,567. Of that, $81,140 alone was paid to the military. A newspaper spirals in, which reads, March 15, 1860, Jefferson Guards. The legislature has passed a bill appropriating $1,000 for uniforms for the Jefferson Guards. Comrades, I am proud to say that we have finally got some new uniforms. Jack. An officer passes out uniforms from a large chest. Daniel. Joseph. A newspaper spirals in, which reads, March 22nd, 1860, Ladies' Fair. Women in long dresses approach a house. The object of the fair is to organize and equip the volunteer force, which Shawstown and vicinity can raise. The women have concluded to lend their approval by a hearty effort towards organizing, disciplining, and uniforming the soldiers of the neighborhood. Come then, one and all, stand by the Daughters of Virginia. Thank you for supporting the militia. A newspaper spirals in, which reads, 5th of April, 1860, House of Representatives, Armory Appropriation Bill. A press meeting. The committee has reported the sum of $250,000 for the armories instead of the usual amount of $400,000 from the Master Armor at Harbor's Ferry. Dear Sir, I find the sum only sufficient to operate this armory seven months. This bill, if passed, will be as effectively complete and drive from the place at least one half of our best citizens who are only sustained by a hope of the future. Hey guys, stop working. A factory. We had to cut back on some employees and we're letting you guys go. A worker covers his face in distress. I'm sorry. Next, a series of newspaper clippings. The year of change had come. As 1860 passed by, Harper's Ferry dealt with the financial effects of John Brown's raid. Fear of more slave uprisings led to slave patrols in the streets. As tension between the North and South grew, militia units were built up, and fairs and balls to support them held. And when Congress failed to give the armory enough money, many citizens lost their jobs. The presidential election grew nearer, and like the rest of the country, Harper's Ferry residents wondered what 1861 would bring. Scrolling purple text on a black background reads, Credits, Director Blaine Ott, Screenwriter Logan Jay, Storyboard Writer Nicole Flynn, Videographers Molly Hoffman Lead, Blaine Ott Lead, Austin Bird Assistant, AJ Biller Assistant, Film Editors, Blaine Ott Lead, Molly Hoffman Lead, Cheyenne Cron Assistant, Ashlyn Courtney Assistant, Sound Slash Music Editor Grace Guiney, Characters, Cheyenne Cron, Zach Fisher, Blaine Ott, Kendra Winner, Emma Alquist, Brianna Reynolds, Kelsey Figgins, Justin Sharp, Austin Bird, AJ Biller, Ashlyn Courtney, Logan Jay, Molly Hoffman, Andrew Alstrom, Nicole Flynn. 
customers Kelsey Figgins, Molly Hoffman, Ashlyn Courtney, Kendra Wenner. Thank you to everyone that helped make this happen. To Christy Too, Autumn Cook, and Tracy Manning. Special thanks to Mr. Joe Spurgis, our loving principal, for letting us do this. Mr. Hoffman for letting us use his room and computers. Mitch for all her technical support and all her awesome computer madness. Colorful text reads... White and blue text on a black background reads, Beware of the bee! The kids attempt to dodge a bee while filming the uniform distributing scene. Is this word indicted or indicted? Indicted. Indicted. The kids laugh at an off-screen joke. Text flashes, don't cry, Justin. Over a compilation of a kid making faces, text flashes, the many beautiful faces of Zach. Hasta la vista, baby.